Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching my short video. I'm Julie Connor, the author of The Baby with Three Families, Two Countries, and One Promise, an international adoption story. I want to talk to you briefly today about an idea I'm putting forward with my book. In the back of the book, I have a note to parents where I suggest that they not regard this book as any kind of sacred text, but rather that they take it and use it and adapt it so that they are reading their child the story of their child's adoption. So in this short video, I want to explain what I'm talking about. And let me just say that uh, I go way back. So in my young childhood, it was pre-Amazon, pre-internet, pre even pre-Barbie. So we had something then called paper dolls, which were flat two-dimensional figures that you would have, but the dolls would come with a variety of outfits. So you could substitute the outfit that you wanted on a particular day on that paper doll. And that's the concept, an old fashioned concept that I think you should use with my book. I'd like to give you a concrete example of what I'm talking about by sharing my screen with you and letting you see some of the images and then talk about what I think you can do. Okay, so here I'm going to share my screen. You should see shortly an image of a, it's North America, South America. It has the plane flying from North America to South America and an image of a flag. Now that flag, is not a flag of any existing country. It's a made up flag for a non-existing country. And there's another page also where you see that flag and that's this page. Now, <clears throat> when my illustrator was working on these pages, at first he put an actual country's flag into the illustrations. And that happened to be the flag of the country of Brazil. But I didn't want a particular country's flag because my idea was that the book should be usable by any family who'd adopted a child from any country. So I asked him to adapt that, and he did. He kept the colors of the Brazil flag, blue, green, and yellow, but he made it a circle instead of a diamond shape. So I said, that's fine, and we went on with that. So we have these two pages with this flag, but it's not the flag of the country from which your child came. So my suggestion is that you take the flag of the country from which your child came, and substitute it in using scissors and paper and paste for the substitute your own child's home country in the book. So in this case, I've selected the flag of Colombia, and then I did it on one of my pages. I just put that flag on top of the flag that actually is printed in the book. And I would like to suggest that you do this same thing with your child's book. And not just for the flag, you can substitute everything. You can substitute your names, your child's name. If you have a dog or cat, substitute the dog or cat's name. If you, whatever, you can add and subtract information. You can not read a page. You can do whatever you have to do to make the story more your family's adoption story. I hope you will do that. I encourage you to do that. And I hope you enjoy this book and I hope that it's useful to you. Thanks for listening. Bye.